The female jogger was severely beaten and raped. Every black male who was in the park last night is a suspect. I need all of them. What you just saw was an excerpt from the Netflix, When They See Us. And what we're talking about today is the backlash for the attorney. Her name is Linda Farnstein. She overseen the whole prosecution of these guys and now she's losing jobs and stuff left and right like Steve Harvey been losing gigs. And we're gonna talk about do I give two you know what since she's losing her job, but first, on this channel, we're gonna put on our plus seven glasses of covering deep stories and not giving a damn what bigots say when they get in my comment section because they don't seem to understand that these are plights African-Americans go through sexy up as hell. Because I'm working on skilling my craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Please subscribe to this channel. Turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Check out the Life Game Financial channel where I'm trying to help you guys stack your money in the black. And I will leave a link to the full reading of this in shoplifegains.com. So let's talk about this story. Let me give you the lead up before we talk about this lawyer lady. So Ava DuVray, and please forgive me for butchering her name, directed and produced When They See Us. And it is a story of five African-American men that was accused of raping the white lady in Central Park, New York, way back when they was teens. And they was coerced into saying that they did it by this, this prosecutor, Linda Farnstein, who was portrayed in the Netflix series by Felicity Huffman. Now, here's the issue with this coercion, all right? Only two of the guys, two of the five guys knew each other. And those two, of course, was coerced to rat on everybody else. Well, it comes out in 2002 that a serial rapist admitted to doing that crime and DNA tests confirmed it, okay? So here's the problem with Linda Farnstein, the lawyer who overseen this whole entire thing. She's losing her jobs and everything right now. She's written books. They're about to start retracting that. She was on the board of trustees at, what's the name, Vassar College, a petition was done to get rid of her ass, and I have no remorse. And the reason I have no remorse is because simply she got these things in error. She led this prosecution, and even without evidence, there was no evidence, said that these boys was guilty, it was their fault, get their asses in jail, she got them in jail. I can even recall the person that is the current president of these United States taking out an ad in New York to help with this whole thing. No, I don't feel bad she's losing her job and she's losing money because you got this stuff in error. You didn't get it the right way. This was built on a lie. And I know something else that was built on a lie called the United States of America, but y'all don't want me to talk about that. I'm sorry, I even brought it up. I'll shut my mouth. Now getting back to Ava DuVray, I love what she's doing. She is an award winner. And I hope she continues to do more stories like this because this country oftentimes bury the history of the things that oppressed groups have gone through. I would love to see her get on the story of Wilmington, North Carolina, and how after the Civil War, that became a majority black city that blacks was running and building up a Mecca. And then Anglo-Saxon said, oh, hell to the gnaw went down there and destroyed and slaughtered that whole entire city of African Americans so that it could be ran by Anglo-Saxons all over again. Ava, get on that. Forgive me for butchering your name, but get on that. But I wanna know in the comments section how you guys feel about this. Do you want me to keep tackling these deep stories? Because this is a deep channel. You guys responded so well to the story I did about Ice Cube and his fight against big media. I think I probably need to start exploring these more, but have you guys seen when they see us. I'm gonna do a review of that probably next week when I get a chance to go through the whole thing. I really didn't want this to be a spoiler, but more so of an enlightenment piece of why this lady's losing jobs. And where else is she losing a job? She's on the board of something else and she's losing that too. I mean, it's just, it's a shit show for her. But like I said, I have no remorse because you got these things in error in the first place. But I need to know how you guys feel. Let me know how you feel. Have you seen When They See Us? What are your feelings? And share these things with people who, for whatever the reason, don't seem to understand that there are barriers that oppressed people continue to go through and deal with 
and oftentimes our history hides these things because you don't want more people to have apathy. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Importantly, watch my videos in their entirety or at least watch as many minutes as possible. That's how you help build up YouTube channels and share. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.